Many people knew Norman much better than I did and were lucky enough to have shared many more years of friendship with him and to have absorbed his deep wisdom over those years. My story with Norman starts many years before I knew the man behind the genius. And as a lean apprentice, I was learning words like Kaizen and Hijunka and trying to figure out Kanban and just in time and a list of other confusing Japanese terms and customs that were completely alien to this know-it-all from England and I needed help. I was given a book by my Toyota manager written by Jeff Leica, some of you may know. It was called The Toyota Way and as I devoured the pages and tried to make sense of this new word I'd stumbled into, I needed to learn more. I searched for a font of knowledge and found it in a publishing house called Productivity Press. I was hooked and over the years Norman's cost me thousands of dollars as my library grew and coincidentally I spent an equally large portion of my annual budget at Toyota filling my members libraries with the same books. Ono and Shingo are required reading for anyone that works with me and none of this knowledge would be known to us without the man we all now miss. Now I know some of you are thinking to yourselves that Norman didn't publish the Toyota way and you would be right. One of my last conversations with Norman shortly before we lost him was his regret that he didn't publish that book, arguably the best-selling lean book of all time. As he recounted memories of working with Jeff Leica, I pulled from my shelves the first book that Norman published of Jeff's, Becoming Lean. Norman laughed and he clearly saw the Toyota way as the one that got away. I got to know Norman over the last few years, more so due to my work with Toyota and Norman's work with Harada. My team were eager to learn more about Harada, so I inevitably ended up on calls with Norman. And from there, our relationship grew further and we were making many plans for talks and study groups. The one theme that runs through Lean and a theme Norman was laser focused on in the latter part of his life was the human side of Lean. Anyone who understands or knows Lean, it knows it's about human factors, people and behaviours, and nothing really to do with the tools. Tools exist to be used and mastered by people, but without the respect for humanity and the respect for people, that's all Lean is really, a bunch of tools. From the first pages I read by Jeff in the early days to all the books I've read and reread countless times over the years, that were made possible because of Norman's love for lean, one thing has always been clear. Lean is about people. Norman knew this and he'd been reflecting this in the last book he sent to me, something I'll always treasure. I was able to encapsulate the people side of lean in my own new book, a book that Norman added his name to last year, something I'm deeply grateful for and will always treasure. We will all miss Norman and his tenacity and zeal for life and all that Lean could contribute to it. However, we will not forget him and his legacy will live for generations as it has already done so in the wisdom and materials he left for us. I wish Narika-san and Norman's family great memories of a wonderful man and hope that we in the Lean community continue to make Norman proud. Thank you.